Hello and welcome back to The Broken Doll and today I come to you with an update on this little gal right here. I used the Twin Pines shampoo on her hair. Oh my goodness, her hair is so soft. It wasn't this soft before. It wasn't this soft at all, but oh my word. Her hair is just, I don't know if it's a shampoo or is it the type of hair that's on this doll. I don't know what it is, but I've never felt such soft hair in all my life. It is just beautiful, her hair. Um, I love it. Um, I can't believe how nice it is. It's just wonderful. Oh my goodness, yes. Um, I'm going to use this again and we'll see if I get the same results again. Um, if, if this is how this shampoo is, I'll be using it more often. Right now, this is only the first time. I have nothing to compare it with. So it's best that I don't say too much at this time. Um, you know, but I'm just going to tell you, her hair is just so soft. I'm I'm thrilled by it, but anyhow, as that may be, there we go, something got in her somewhere. My hair goes over there. Anyways, but she's just such a cute little doll. Whoa, you're not even seeing that. There we go. Her hair is just so soft. I am just thrilled by it. But anyways, we're going to set her to the side, and we're going to go move on to some other things that I want to show you. I've been doing some, uh, my daughter and I have been doing some thrift store shopping, so I want to show you what I've gotten here. Uh, it was half price day. This was up for four dollars. Got it for two. I got this nice little dress here. Uh, I don't know who made it, but I thought it was handmade at first, but it isn't. And um, just a nice little little dress with little I would call them a bear, I guess, on there. And it comes with these little uh, diaper panties on there. I have to take the elastic out and put new elastic in. That will be uh, another job I have to do. Um, I got lots of sewing to do. This is my cat Mabel, who's just walking on by, aren't you? You want to walk on by? Huh? Yeah, she wants some attention. That's what she wants. But anyways, we've got to move on, Mabel. Yeah, don't... Oh, getting sassy pants. Sassy pants. Yeah, you're sassy pants. All right. But anyways, I got these shoes at the thrift store, still in the box. And they were sold at our... We had a store here called Stedman's. I miss that store. If anybody's from my area... And you remember a Stedman's? Oh, I miss Stedman's. It was one of those quaint little stores where, what do I compare it to? Oh my, it, it, it's lower end, but they sold quality stuff and made in your own country. And that's what I liked. And, um, you know, it is, the, the, those stores are gone today. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's sad to say that, but they are. I wish they'd come back some of these stores. Yeah, see, look at here, made in Canada. You know, this is the thing. And it's got a name, La, per, La per, Perziette. La Perziette. I don't know if I'm saying it right. La Perziette. And, um, but anyways, um, yeah, too bad. It's really too bad these stores are gone, but they are. Bought myself some hangers, uh, $1.49 at the thrift store. Now, this little tray. This is an interesting little tray. You can see what I paid for it, 99 cents. Um, it's very, very nice little tray. I almost left it. My daughter saw it first and I went, you know something? I want that. It looks older to me. You turn it around the back and it says it's called the Poly Tray. It's made in a place called Barrie, Ontario. Barrie is about, oh, it's quite a ways up north. I'm going to say 700 miles, maybe more. I could be wrong. Maybe it's between five and 700 miles away. It could be more for all I know. I've been to Barrie before. I got relatives that live there. Been there uh, quite a few times as a child. But anyhow, this tray was made of resin. I looked at this up. It's made out of resin and it's made out of other fabrics that the artists used, uh, that they used for this. And they made floral quilt looking type of trays. They were round. They were beveled all the way around. Um, but they, this tray was made in the 1970s and ended in the 1970s. And um, because of the oil crisis at the time. That's what it said in the article that I was reading. And um, they never did pick up production again. So whatever ones you find, you find. Now, is this tray worth anything, any money? Um, and now I don't know what you would use this tray for. Maybe it sat in a baby's room where you put all your products on top, your baby powders and things like that. And you could pull it off because it's a baby tray type of thing. But um, 
value wise they're going for about 20 between 20 and 40 dollars i did not see this one there i saw the floral ones i saw the ones that were quilt like but i didn't see this one with the children on it but i thought this looked nice in my doll room you know in my doll shop here somewhere i could display it and um you know I thought it was really cute, a really cute little tray. But all the same, if anybody knows anything about them, there you go. Um, if you had something like this, but it's a plasticky, feels plasticky, but you can tell it's older on this side. So when I seen it there, like I said, 99 cents, can't go wrong. Now, a lady friend of mine, um, she stopped by and she went to a yard sale and she picked up some dolls for a, a buck or so. I think she said like a dollar or whatever. It wasn't very much anyway. So let's just put it that way. And so she said, I could pick six dolls out. Well, I'm going to show you those dolls that I picked. Now, one she already had bought for me and she says it was automatically mine. And so here he is. He's a black doll and he is gorgeous love him so i got to get him cleaned up and dressed and everything because i have the white version of this now you can see what they did with a lot of black dolls instead of giving them the beautiful black features they just took a white doll painted them black um which is fine i guess but i love seeing the black features on the dolls i want a true black doll but this is how they did it back in those days um this is a reliable made in canada very beautiful doll though i i think he's still gorgeous though but um anyways we're going to get he's got soft vinyl arms head but his body is all and his legs is plastic and he's got a pee thing here but he has no hole here so he doesn't really pee i think these bodies were generic they just used the bodies regardless if they had a hole in the mouth or not but anyways i did get him and then she said I could pick six dolls out. Well, I got this little girl. Now, her eyes are a little bit on the cloudy side. They could come up clean. I haven't tried anything with her at this time. She came in this little skirt outfit. Looks like it's been homemade. I would have no... Oh, yeah, she's an ID... No, she's a Regal toy. Made in Canada doll. There's, there's her markings on the back. So she's a Regal. It says Regal Canada as well on the back of her there. Again, she has the softer... Um, head and arms and the plastic body and legs again but she needs some cleaning up she's she's dirty 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 and then i got this next one here here's another one now i don't know i see madame alexander in this little face i could be wrong but she's not marked on her back at all i don't see anything and madame alexander was really big on marking her dolls but maybe she had a um a wrist tag only or something i don't know it's hard to say but she has a very cute little face and um dirty again very dirty dirty she needs to be cleaned up but hey that's all easy to do now the next one we're all familiar with made by the american character Com toy company um very i think very well marked on the back of its neck and we have tiny tears this is a smaller version i have this version already but in a bigger um version of her and so it's nice to get the smaller one now i'm going to dress this one i don't like the dress on her because it's a baby and this dress looks just a little too old for her so i'm going to put her in a nice little baby outfit and uh, but i'm going to keep her little her little underwear on her but um i do want to get um, a nice cute little baby outfit on her i think she'll look uh, bring the babiness out in her um but anyways, and I'm going to put a little bit of rouge on her, get her some, some coloring in her face. And she should look pretty good. Some cleaning up as well. She needs a nice, nice bath. But I got her as well in the pile. And then the last two that I got, that's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, the black one was six. That's right. I think that's how it went anyways. Yeah. Oh, no, no. I got the sixth one. I know where it is. Now, I got her hat somewhere down in my bucket here. Oh, no. It's right in the back of her head. And the yellow one I got down in that bucket there. These are <coughs> little pedigree dolls from England. Now, let's see if we can get her eyes to open up. They were open before. Why are they sticking now? Now, they're not going to open. This one's not opening. Oh, this one, maybe. I don't know why their eyes are not opening up. I'll have to look into that later. See if I can get their eyes to open up. Oh, there's hers. There they are. There's her eyes. Yeah. She's got pretty little blue eyes there. But they're little pedigree dolls. I want to wash their dresses up, just freshen everything up that's on them. And then um, put the, this back on them again. 
Now I won't do the slip because the slip feels like it's been starched and I don't want to play around with that. I don't know if I can get it back to the way it should be. I'm not sure about that. But anyways, they're cute little dolls. See so we can get her eyes. There we go. There's her eyes. They're opened up now. And I got this nice little brunette, little brunette dolls. One's a little bit more gingery than the other. But anyways, they're cute little dolls all the same. Now these are not their original clothes, but boy, whoever made them did very nicely by them by giving them these nice little dresses. Okay, so what is the next doll? The dolls that I have that I want to show you. Well, um, these were given to me. One was given to me by Janet. And I'll show you the one that Janet gave me. This is a Cindy doll by Janet. Janet, my friend, who sent me the boxes of stuff. This is the doll that she she gave me. Now, that's a Cindy doll. This one here, I think as well was from, oh, this is the one I got to pick out of the box. That's right. I have six dolls from the lady that came from the yard sale. So I picked her out, which is also another Cindy doll. Now, this one is Mark Cindy. This one here has numbers on the back of her, just like this one does. The same way they're printed on this one, the Cindy doll, is on this one, but it doesn't say Cindy, though. Um, at all. It's just got these numbers on the back where this one here says Cindy right on the back of her neck. You can see it right at the top, Cindy. And it has those same numbers on the back. So I'm taking that, are these knockoff Cindy's? I'm not sure. But then I found this Cindy doll right here. And I got her at my thrift store for 99 cents. But she has these really different bendable arms really different and her, she's got a nice range with her arms. I got to get this stuff off of her. It looks like something melted on her. So I'm cleaning up again but this is her and she has those same markings but doesn't say it has some other things here. Jen something I can't see it all on there but there it is right there. It might show up. I bet you'll be able to read it better than me than what I can right now. There we go. That's what it says on the back of her. So, I'm taking, I'm going to say this right out, I think these are all Cindy dolls, but just different versions of them. Three different versions, or something like that maybe. They're um, very close to one another. Now, maybe with her hair pulled back, it makes her hair, face look slimmer. I'm not sure. Her face looks even smaller than this one here. That's the way I'm reading it anyways. But anyways, maybe anybody who's up on the Cindy dolls can tell me about them. But those are some of the dolls that I got. Anything else that I wanted to show while I was uh, making my thrift store? I think that was it. We got to see Mabel. And that was about it. And all the dolls that I got here. So there they all are. And I hope you enjoy this video. And I'll have more to come. I want to start going. Oh, I know what I wanted to show you. I just about forgot it. I bought, back a while ago, some material here to make shoes with. I got a white and a beige. This is called oil cloth. There we go. This is called oil cloth. Okay, that's what those shoes were made out of, was oil cloth. And they were wipeable. That way the little girl, the, the shoes became soiled, they could wipe them. Well, I bought myself a, another two more colors of this stuff. Came in today. I got a black and I got a forest green. So, I'm going to be checking at some stores nearby me in the next little while to see if, I, if it sells here. So far, I have not found it at the stores that I've been looking at. Um, I got some places to go, but I really exhausted a lot of the good places where I thought they would have material like this. If not, I get this off at Etsy. And um, I've been enjoying There's a few more colors I like to get. And um, I've enjoyed what I, I do own right now of this here. So I've got uh, four colors now. And I've got white, beige, green, and black. So there's a couple more colors I'm interested in buying. Actually, I like to own all the colors if I could. But you know what? It's called Can You Afford It? Within Affordability. And, um, you know, I'll take it as I go along. If I can get it cheaper here, I want to make sure I exhaust all the areas around here before I buy too much more of this. This runs me, Canadian side, about $50 for one package. Okay? I don't know how much, how many yards this is. I forget. i got to get that out for you so you know. But I get it off of Etsy anyways. So there you go. If you're interested in making your own shoes, you want your material, um, oil cloth like they used back in the day, you can get it off of Etsy. Now, I am going to check one more store. And I, I'm done. Um, it'll be the last one. And that's all I can do. 
and I'm going to go out to Lens Mills and I'm going to see um, next week I'm going to go out there and see I've called them they're looking around I haven't heard anything back they were supposed to get back to me there's been nothing I just don't think it's out there in my city anyway so I'll continue to buy it the way I am and that's with exchange and shipping and everything else about 50 bucks so there you go so I put a hundred dollars Canadian out on this already that's why I say to you it does add up you got to be careful all right and people so anyways I hope you like what you've seen now I'm going to get back to the Trudy doll. It's time to get back to her. We have some, um, I got work on her head I got to do. Outfit's not done. I still got to make sleeves. I got a lot to do with her. So I veered off enough now. Time to get back to, uh, the, to Trudy. So these other dolls are just going to go away for right now. And I'll get back to them later when I have more time. But right now Trudy is my main focus now. So we're going to get back to her. So thanks everybody for joining me. Bye-bye.